Good morning, Helium community. Community, this is Eddie from Crypto News Plus. Now, before we do anything else or talk about anything else, let's talk about why you are making and I am making 0.01 HNT today, and what are you supposed to do to handle this? Well, the first thing is do not touch anything. Do not touch your antenna. Do not touch your settings. Do not touch your uh, router. Just let things flow as it was. The reason is, this is an internal problem that happened inside the Helium network. And why? Because of the huge number of hotspots that gets deployed every day. So the numbers are crazy and the deployment and the network is growing so fast. And I've, I've, been, I've been challenging this for a long time. It's like, this network is so powerful that it could handle about 75,000 hotspots that get deployed every month. I mean, from a network perspective, that's very challenging. Now, obviously, now the problems will show up, but they're addressing it. So what's happening right now is they're trying to fix the issues that are happening with the expansion of this network. And we can see it here. This is announcement was on the 12th of November. As the number of hotspots on chain grows, the core developers have noticed that Validators are having trouble keeping up with validating all POC receipt transactions. These, there are some performance improvements coming early next week, but in the meantime, we are making an operational decision to reduce the POC rate through the weekend and until validators have a chance to upgrade to the upcoming changes. To do this, we will be increasing the POC challenge interval variable from 240 to 300, which should give us about 25% more headroom. With more hotspots joining the network every day, this should help us through the weekend and the coming days. The impact on hotspots should be a reduction in number of challenges issued per day, and therefore fewer POC challenges across the network as a whole. Net rewards should level out after a few days as the rate stabilizes, but there may be some variance over the weekend. We plan on issuing this variable around 2200 UTC about 10 minutes from now. So the discovery mode update is happening. The team is investigating an ongoing issue with state channels for the discovery mode feature. At this time you may not see hotspot responders or if you do a fraction of what you normally see. Please hang tight and avoid initiating sessions. We'll provide an update as soon as we can. The team has identified the root cause where state channels are being opened by a worker job. A temporary fix is in place and the team will be implementing a permanent fix ASAP, but performance may be touch and go through the weekend. And here's another update. As a follow-up to Friday's changes, the core developers plan on increasing POC challenge interval again, reducing the total POC rate on the network as described above. We will be increasing the POC challenge interval variable from 300 to 360, which should give us about 20% more headroom. We will also be increasing the number of transactions that validators can put into a block to help increase transaction volume. We plan on issuing this variable around 1730 UTC. And this is where the bad news happened yesterday. The blockchain has halted due to a bottleneck related to a large number of transactions. This outage impacts the POC challenge. The team has identified the issue and is working on a fix. A very large block has been made with additional blocks slowly getting formed. The team is testing a few batches and to prevent this from reoccurring, the update to other router instances is ready for deployment this week. A validator release is being be pre pre prepared. Unfortunately, all blockchain activity, proof of card payments, hotspot assertion transfers, extra is still effectively halted until blocks are back to normal production. Stay tuned. The router fix has been pushed to the various Helium console router instances. This, would, uh, this fix will prevent the reoccurrence of this issue. The team is still testing various fixes. However, the blockchain status has not yet changed and blockchain activity is still halted. So what's going on today? The core developers have released Validator V version 1.5 and, and are now waiting on validators in the consensus group to upgrade, come online and start producing blocks. This process usually takes a little time as the consensus group code starts to connect to each other and maintain connections for passing signatures. It may take a few hours before block production resumes. In the meantime, some of the core team will be going offline while others stay online. 
to monitor block production. We have tagged an updated version of blockchain node, blockchain ETL, and router. Please upgrade, upgrade to the latest versions as possible as one block production resumes. They will be able to start syncing again. Again, Hotspot will need to wait on a chain blessed snapshot before we can issue a new firmware release. It will likely be about five hours after block production resumes. Until then, POC activity and data transfer will remain affected. Thank you again for your patience. And this is the latest as for today. After letting the consensus group try to figure out how to produce the block for a few hours, some of the core developers have started their day looking at additional performance adjustments that may help the group come together and restart the chain. Validator operators in the consensus group, please prepare for another tagged release. The entire network appreciates your diligence. So, um, the team and the you know everyone in the community are working really hard to fix all these problems. Now, so far there's nothing needed from your site. <clears throat> if there's an update that requests uh, <clears throat> some action from your end, I'll probably post a video on that. Otherwise, if things will go back to smooth and things will be updated through your um, hotspot firmware and you know the network as well, then I'm not going to obviously do an update because everything will be running just uh, smoothly, I guess. So what I recommend is do not touch anything. There's nothing wrong with your router. There's nothing wrong with your hotspot. There's nothing wrong with your antenna. As just explained, it's just a network issue. And most likely, <coughs> once they figure this out, they will send some updates to the uh, hotspot providers like Sinkscap, Bobcat, and all these um, um, you know, hotspot manufacturers. They will send them the updates so they can update their firmware as well. So most likely, probably 99%, there's nothing that is needed from your site. If there is, again, I will post a video, an update on how can you fix this issue. Other than that, I wish you the best and we'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned.